Hello, Virgo. Welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. This is your girl TM. I'm back with another general love reading for the month of November 2019 for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Virgo people out there. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with everyone. So please don't try to force uh, this reading if it's not your situation. Because this is a general reading. But there's definitely a message for some people out there. They have to hear it. You can come to me for personal reading if you want to. Prices and details are given on my channel. Contact me on my email address. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. There is also more fun, so join me there. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what is happening for uh, Virgo people out there. What is your main theme for the month of November 2019? Let's see. What is your main theme? And then I will check out who is coming towards you. What is their intentions, feelings towards you for the month of November 2019? Okay. So the main theme for you here is the Virgo. You have the temptation. Could be dealing with uh, Capricorn. So this is a devil card. Okay. And then you have the next here is the seven of cups. Choose wisely. Could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So what I'm getting here, for some of you, you could be addictive to someone, you're obsessed with someone. Um, there's some obsession going on, okay? Like addictions, obsessions with someone that you can't let go, you can't release this person, you're continuously thinking about this person, like obsessed, obsessively thinking about this person um, all the time. You wanted to know when this person will come, when this person will come towards you. There could be lust, in you like a uh, sexual desire toward this person you want to be with this person you want to date this person you want to spend physical sexual time with this person for some of you vice versa if you're cross watcher you could be feeling for towards this uh, virgo okay so yeah this is devil energy uh, but i feel the uh, i feel more like obsessive thinking obsessive feeling with someone that you can't let go of this person you're having a hard time to release to let go to heal and this is not healthy, by the way. Then the next you have the seven of cups. Choose wisely. Yeah, the decision has to make between you and this person. Could be this person live on the distance from you. Or right now, they could be, there could be emotional distance between you and this person. That's why you are thinking. Um, the decision has to make. Choose wisely that what you want. For some of you, you could be in a, a relationship with someone. This is only about sexual, not emotional. So that's why they're saying choose wisely. Okay. Basically, I'm hearing for you guys here is that be careful what you are wishing for. This is how your theme here is for November 2019. Be careful what you are wishing for, what you are desiring. Okay, this could be not healthy for you because we have the temptation. So you need to be in a good and healthy relationship with someone. Okay, choose wisely what you want, what you desire and what you need to be, what you need to done here. In this relationship okay but i feel definitely obsessive thinking obsessive feeling with someone addictions obsessions is here and uh decision has to made someone could be have choices and they have to made a choice here that what they want i also feel that some of you could be getting receiving the message from someone like there could be communication but it's it's, it's like on and off on and off not serious um, and I also feel for some of you, there's a definitely strong lust going on, like fantasy, dreaming. Strong desire to be with someone, but that person is physically not with you. So be careful what you are wishing for, right? This is addictions, like addictive to someone, addictive to their... Uh, like like you're saying that no i want this person i i just want this person that's how you are saying but universe is saying choose wisely be logical don't be emotional don't be sexual <laughs> so yeah sorry i have a cold and cough Let's see who is coming towards you. This will be the main theme for you for the month of November. This is for you, Virgo. Okay, now let's see who is coming towards you. What are their intentions, feelings, new love or old love? What is happening for you? What is the uh, coming towards you? 
what is coming towards my Virgo people out there? For some of you, you could be have decision uh, about career or job, okay? For some of you, you are definitely working hard to get a job and you still don't know what to do, okay? Let's see. Let's see what is happening for my Virgo people. What is the outcome between you and this person? See, I was telling you. Look at this. You have the full bottom of the deck. So the person who is coming towards you, I feel this is the fool, you know, like new beginning for you. This is a risk for you, basically. If you're waiting for someone for reconciliation from the past, uh, could be dealing with Sagittarius, Aquarius, Aries, a Leo. The fool, okay. Uh, what I'm getting here, we go for you here, is that the person who is coming towards you, they are not serious, okay? They, they could be younger than you. They, they have this energy, still immature energy. They are not mature. They are not wise. They are risk taker. They are going with the flow. They are not about to think about the future. If they are coming back, if you're waiting for someone to reconcile, I still feel there could be communication, but still it's, it's just like on and off. On and off. Okay, no, nothing serious. Uh, I also feel for some of you, you could be uh, traveling, okay? Uh, for adventure, for job, for study, whatever it is. It's like new beginning. For some of you, you could be on spiritual journey. Okay, you need to be spiritual because we have the temptation here. Look at this. This is the devil energy. You need to heal from this energy. You need to release this energy, whatever it is uh, you're obsessively. If thinking of someone, feeling for someone, you can't let go. It's not good. It's not healthy. So please try to be in balance. Try to heal yourself. Okay, try to focus on yourself. For some of you, you could be taking risk for this sexual connection. If you are involved with someone who is sexually you are desiring or you are connecting with, so it's, it's like this is risk taking for you. You're taking risk with this person. Okay, you're taking a chance, you're taking a leap of faith on this connection, like yes, there will be, um, like you're believing that yes, uh, everything will be fine, but universe is telling you before you do something, choose wisely, that where you are going, what you are doing, uh, where you are sleeping with, where you are spending the night with, uh, wherever you are starting your journey with, because the fool is a journey, right, starting with the zero, major arcana. It's up to you how you are doing. For some of you, you could be waiting for reconciliation. But it's not happening still. I'm, I'm not seeing something new here. I'm feeling that you are starting something new. Like, uh, could be a new job, a new career, changing the location, changing the house. Something new. Something fresh. Like you're, you're breathing in the fresh air. For some of you, you could be leaving the toxic relationship recently behind. Uh, you could be leaving in the month of November, toxic relationships, toxic people behind. And this is you starting your own journey with yourself, being single, being free. For others of you, you're still stuck in this toxic, in this obsessive or addictive relationship with people. And you're waiting for someone to come towards you, but they're not coming because we have the Ace of Pentacles reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be another art sign here i'm not seeing some someone new is coming in your way i don't see sorry there is uh, also i don't see that there could be you're waiting for someone to come towards you for reconcile they can come towards you but still they can't offer you something serious so be careful what you're wishing for this is a theme for you yeah the fool is a second chance reconciliation starting with a zero giving a chance but they can't offer you something serious so be careful they're still not serious. They're immature. They are fool. Okay? You can't trust this person. It's like taking risk with this person. Vice versa if you're cross watcher. Okay? The next you have five of swords because Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is still conflicted. They, st and they still have that ego. They still have that issues they have to solve. They're still carrying that, uh, that burden from the past. If they came back towards you, they still have these issues. Okay? These ego issues. And when you will trigger them, they will get, get back to, like, they will ghost you again. And they will go back to you. So this is this person is very conflicted, okay? 
when you have nine of swords yours so it's time to heal it's time to get over from this energy it's time to solve your issues and problems it's time to let go of every toxic and obsessive obsessive and addictive relationships that is not healthy for you okay and the next you have the the daddy is here the emperor reverse could be dealing with aries or taurus so yeah look at this this person has a big ego look at this this person is very dominant they're very toxic they in in they are toxic in the way that they they want the things with their own style like my way or highway like you have to accept what i'm saying they don't want to compromise that's how this person problem is this could be your energy by the way virgo if you're a cross watcher it could be possible virgo is doing this with you but yes you are dealing with someone who is stubborn, very um, egoistic, very um, bossy, toxic in the way that they want. They're controlling. OK, they're controlling. They, they're manipulator. They love drama. They have a big, big ego and pride. They don't want to compromise. So it's up to you. You could be dealing with there could be some issues going on for some of you. I feel that you're looking for a new job. You're ter you're terrified. You're suffering uh, because it could be possible that you're having a fight or conflict with your boss. OK, and you want to leave the job, but you can't because you need money and there is no new job for you. For some of you, there could be in a work environment. There is a people, uh, you know, trying to manipulate the situation. Okay, they're fighting with you, and you're you're having a trouble, definitely in a workplace. For those of you, this is a relationship, right? If you're dealing with someone who's toxic, who's controlling, uh, again, I have to here to say repeat this, but yes, you need to choose wisely what you are doing and what you are expecting, what you are wishing for. The outcome between you and this person, we have the seven of pentacles reverse. The more earth energy and then we have the chariot reverse could be dealing with cancer look at this um i feel this person uh you need to give up on this person okay you need to give this person a chance don't I, i'm not saying that this person is not right for you i'm saying this person at this situation that you are currently in this is not healthy seven of pentacles reverse here is that uh the outcome is here that the person if someone is not involving with you, they're not putting the effort with you, then you are definitely wasting your time. It's time to give up if they're not there with you. You have the charity words, you're stuck. Your relationship is stuck. You can't move forward with someone who is even not there. Okay? It's like you are the one putting the effort. You are the one want to reconcile or you are the one give this person a chance. But it's, a, it's, it's again, it's a risk taking. It's like you're taking the risk with this person. Okay? It's up to you how you want to put here, but I feel that the energy is telling you very clearly that the outcome between you and this person is still there, okay? Uh, there is no movement. There is nothing new. Uh, if this person came back into your life still, uh, they, will be, be, they will behave the same as they behaved in the past. It's up to you now how you want to take it. But I don't see new love is here. But I see that you're definitely still dealing with some relationships that you have to move. You have to heal. You have to choose wisely. That's what you want. Okay? So, yeah. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Love for November 2019. I really hope it resonated for you guys. Like, share, and subscribe my channel. God bless you.